Sam Houston Coliseum. And on the outside, you're watching Steve Kern, who is partners with the other blonde whom you see in the ring, and that is Stan Lane. The man whom they have caught in that reverse uh, headlock is Hector Guerrero, and his brother Chavo Guerrero is on the outside. So this is a tag team battle between the fabulous ones, or the fabs, if you will, and the Guerrero brothers. And you see Chavo getting around there, trying to get into a position to protect his brother, who has just hit into that, yes, he was feeling it. It's hard. It's unyielding. It's a tough thing to run your head into, and he just did. And as Hector rises up rather painfully to his feet, you can see that Kirk Lane, who is avoiding the issue, managed to get away, but they swap places. It's a tough team, the fabulous ones. They are colorful to the extreme. They are tough to the very core. And on this, this Sunday night, and if you're watching on Saturday night, it's tomorrow night, and if you're watching on Sunday, it's tonight. Remember, they are going to be four of the contestants who will be in the 25-man battle royal. Multiply those four by six, and you have all the wrestlers, and just add Lord Humperdinck, and he'll be able to uh, supply the 25th man. If that doesn't promise to become a tradition like the 11th man, but it's a tradition for a two-ring battle royal here in the city of Houston, and we're proud of it, and it is always a super, super action-packed night when there is the annual two-ring battle royal. And tonight is the time, and it ought to be sensational. So we look now as the fabulous ones, with um, Kern in the ring and Lane on the outside, move in on Hector, who has caught an inordinate amount of punishment in this, and he is now in danger of being lifted up in the air and up he goes and they fall backwards is hard to minimize hard to protect and shattering when it happens to you and he's confident that he's got the pin but he didn't get it because that foot belonged to hector's brother chavo now these four men will have a return match Tonight at the Sam Houston Coliseum, starting at 7 o'clock, they will have their return match only. And this one, it will be Texas Tornado style. That means that all four men will be in the ring at the same time. And that means a tremendous amount of action that takes place from the swift interchange that can come between the, the pairs. But there is a sleep hold. And as Kern puts the pressure on, Hector is fighting to get rid of it, and Hector got caught in that syndrome of getting near to his brother and then being jerked away by legal and illegal means. And he is in a, in a tough spot. But the battle at the Coliseum tonight, Sunday night, starting at 7 o'clock, that battle, the Texas Tornado battle, would be only one of 10 yes nine great matches and winding up with the two ring 25 man five thousand dollar prize money battle royal and this sleep hold is in danger of working as far as guerrero is concerned and you can bet that uh, kern is thinking happily that it has worked but right there is that could be the answer if the referee decides that it will be the signal, but it isn't the signal. The referee did not, did not. He didn't feel that that arm was absolutely and positively limp and without control, and therefore he, he did not call a victory. But as Kern gets in and applies the uh, reverse chin lift, keeps that uh, body uh, sort of immobile as he gets his weight on it. But right now, Hector has come down and he is chomping on the finger of Stan Kerr, Steve Kern, rather, and he was about to take a piece of it. Into the ring comes Stan Lane. And Lane is taking over where his partner left off and he's trying the same thing, a reverse uh, chin lock. Uh, 
after that clothesline. Now, the, this hold is called the cobra hold. It sometimes has the effect of um, putting a man to sleep. And when it doesn't, it has the effect of weakening him to the point that you can wear him down because he's not getting sufficient uh, blood to the brain and sufficient oxygen to keep it working. Beautiful move by Hector Guerrero. That quick move into shaking his body and making it difficult to be held aloft, uh, brought him down to the canvas, but he was in worse shape to begin with, so he has not recovered from the shattering contact with the, with the, with the canvas. In comes Steve Kern, and Kern takes over, but now he's got to get hold of Hector Guerrero, and Guerrero is gonna give that last gasp of strength, and there's the touch, and listen to those fans as they break loose, and he comes in with those reverse kicks, those mule kicks, and the drop kicks, and Hector is using his feet well and using his head, too, I'll tell you. And he will when all four of them are in the ring legally in the great card at the Coliseum Sunday night, this Sunday night, starting at 7. And there is a race across that ring. We, we've got uh, Lane down. We've got Kern outside the ring. The referee is arguing with Chavo Guerrero and... He has made this mistake on several occasions tonight, and the fans are upset about it. Now we're getting a quick switch, and the man underneath is Steve Kern, who has given the subterfuge that he was still the man who had been in the ring before and was injured by the throw. And there's a wrap-up as uh, Guerrero takes him in a small package and absolutely wraps his shoulders down to the to the canvas and the, the fans are uh, jubilant of course but uh, referee tommy gilbert is looking these fellows over and he's not certain of, of what happened and now as he moves around that ring we've got the fabulous ones throwing guerreros in all directions and as they gang up on hector he catches both of them and Chavo comes in, and Chavo is ready. He says, if that's the way they want to do it, let's have it. They have been, the Guerreros have been declared the winners, but the losers are still on their feet, and you can get a good look there at the fabulous one, Steve Kern. Be at the Coliseum when all four of them are in that still ring, and it will match. be great. It starts at 7 tonight. Are now faced with a demand here in 1985 for a Texas tornado match in Chavo. You know, Mr. You Bosch, excuse me. They beat us at their game. No excuses. They beat us. We went down in defeat. Well, tonight you just witnessed that they went down in defeat. But we are not happy. We're not satisfied. We beat them at their game. Now we want to beat them in our game. They want to switch. We can switch. We fall down to the other side. We want them in the ring. Two in there against two, no tag, no rules. Let's all go in there and let's beat the heck out of each other and let's see who comes out on top. That's the way we want it. That's the way we want to start our 1986 with these two guys. Este es el canal en español. That's right. Me gustaría hacer una cosa. Si ellos quieren hacer esto, lo que quieren hacer, nosotros les ganamos a su estilo. Ahora que vengan a nuestro estilo, una lucha de torbellino, o sea, que una lucha dos adentro del ring, super libre como ellos quieran, o sea, sin reglas sin nada, a lo como ellos quieran, ¿verdad, canal? Así es. Y si ustedes nos soportan como ustedes nos han dando ese apoyo, nosotros vamos a decir que también nosotros los mexicanos sabemos a darles con lo que quieren. Oh, and I guarantee it. That's right, Mr. Boss. We'll let him come at any time. You know, Mr. Boss, he knew my father, and he always came through with his promises. Yeah. And we're going to promise you nobody's going to run over the Guerrero name. No uh, way. Uh, out of controversy hey. here in Houston Wrestling, What's the they idea? have accepted a Texas Tornado match. That means all four men in the ring at the same time, no rules. An ultimate tag team feud settler with the Guerrero yeah, we brothers. Know what that means. What's the idea of Paul Boschman back there and saying if we don't sign a tornado match, we can't go for the twenty-five thousand dollars, huh? What kind of pressure is that? Let me tell you something. We've wrestled all over the world, and we've beaten teams all over the world, much tougher, much bigger, and much better than those Guerrero guys. Like I said, a lot lesser team to come out of here and make excuses about losing. I'm not gonna do that because we're class athletes. I could say that we had jet lag, which we did. I can say that Steve has the flu, he's been sick for a week, but I'm not gonna say that, because we're too good. Let me tell you something, Grace. You signed your death warrant, right, big man? You tell him, Steve. 
If you get these people to shut up for a minute, I'll talk to you. This is what happens to us every time we go anywhere. Shut up for you. Jesus, how are you supposed to talk? If these people got any consideration for somebody out here trying to carry on a conversation? Jet lag, the flu, the Guerreros cheated. They cheated. I know they cheated. Those two guys didn't ever tag. They switched. If it takes a tornado death match for us to come back, to take the $25,000, then I guess that's what you got. But I don't want to wrestle here. I hate you people.